the first thing we're going to do is look at our color wheel. We start off, you guys got your primary colors, your red, your yellow, and your blue. You also have a black and you have a white. So we can mix all these colors to get any color that we want at all. You guys probably know red and yellow will make your orange, red and blue will make your purple, and blue and yellow will make your green. We can put whites in these and make pinks and different types of colors. We can also put blacks in these to make them a little bit darker. If you put black in them, be very careful. You only need a little bit of black in there. First things first, let's mix up a different green. I want you to use that matcha green and just a little bit of that bluegrass green and get yourself a true green. This is what they call this. It's not a grass green, it's called a true green. Use that big sponge brush and get in all of the areas that you can. That way you're not wasting time. You don't have to get right up to the flower. You can get close to it and then go back in with a smaller brush. Now I am being careful. I'm going right up to the black lines, but I don't want you to worry at all about getting paint on the black lines. We're gonna go back in when everything is nice and dry and put those lines back in with the permanent marker that you have. Always turn your canvas so it's easier for you to paint, whichever way you need to turn it to make it easier to paint. Now, if you don't want to put this canvas in a frame when you're all done, make sure you paint the sides with that green paint too. This is a good place to use that small brush. That brush has got a flat top, so you can use that flat top for lines, and then you can use the edge of one side or the other to get into really tight areas. Go ahead and do all these little tight areas inside the flower and around the piston. I think that's what it's called. I'm not quite sure. But that little thing there that comes squiggling down and then the little dots too. Pause the video, let it dry and get caught up. I'm back at it with that small brush and the lemon yellow. And I'm doing that squiggly thing that I think is called a piston. Remember, don't worry about those black lines. It's okay if you get it on the black lines. I want my flower to be pink, so I'm just going to use the dragon fruit. That's the color of the pink that you have, and use that straight from the tub. Now, if you want a lighter pink, put a little bit of white in there until you get the color of pink that you want. If you want it darker, you can put a little bit of black in there. Don't put any more than a pea size amount of black. You will end up with a really ugly color. I don't even suggest doing this. If you want it lighter, the white is okay. I just wouldn't mess with that black at all. Then also, if you would like your flower yellow, use the yellow. If you would like your flat flower orange, put that pink and that yellow together. Remember yellow and red make orange? Well, that pink has red in it. The pink is just red and white. So go ahead and use the yellow and the pink and you're gonna get a light pastel orange. Your orange will be darker if you use more of the pink and it'll be lighter if you use more of the yellow. This is another time that you're gonna to wanna to turn your canvas to whatever direction that's easiest for you to paint. Make sure you don't get your hand in that paint as you go along. I'm kind of using my pinky there on the areas that are dry to help steady my hand. When your hand is floating in the air, it's really hard to keep it steady. So you might wanna paint a few of these petals and let them dry and then go back in and do some more of the petals. I'm pretty sure you're gonna to wanna to put two coats of pink on this. Pause the video and let everything dry. I mean dry, dry. I'm gonna go in super speed mode and I'm gonna trace around all of the lines. This will make everything look nice and crisp. Notice the little uh, dots. I think they look like pollen. I never painted those. I just let them be the white of the canvas. Some finishing touch, we need some highlights. Go ahead and take that white and that small brush. Don't push hard. The harder you push, the thicker your line's gonna be. So go ahead and go around one side of each of the, those puddles. Either pick the top side or the bottom side. 
Now really with this picture, I'm not sure what the top or the bottom of this flower is. I don't think it really matters. I've written the word Ohana on mine. You could put your name on there if you would like or any other word that really inspires you. Also, I'm gonna do a little bit of border here. It's a dash dot dot dash border. You just go around the edge and you repeat that. Dash dot dot dash. You don't have to have a border on yours or you don't have to have this kind of border on yours. You could do some squiggly lines or swirly lines. It's all up to you. This is where you get to make it your own. Thanks for painting along with me. Make sure you subscribe and like this video.